Well, hello, friends. On this episode of NSFW, we're joined by Corey from Spill.com. We decide to shatter Brian Brushwood's young ward, OMG Chad's vegetarian streak, by putting a plate of meat in front of him and feeding it in his face until he gets meat drunk. Danny DeVito and Drunk Holt face off against each other, and we find new motivational posters to live by. Why it's all this week on NSFW. Netcasts you love From people you trust This is Twit Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com This is NSFW episode 17 for March 24th, 2010 Meat Drunk! This episode of NSFW brought to you by Audible.com. To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. Jack Austin, astronaut. Exposed to inappropriate levels of solar energy. Sunlight makes him the world's smartest man. I know everything! I want that brain take it out. Heat Vision, the motorcycle with the mind of Jack's unemployed roommate. Together they run for their lives, blocked at every oh, turn. Heat Vision and Jack? Yeah. yeah. Move up, don't mess around. Move up, you bring it down. Now let's just power for For real. real. And that means, that means it's time for the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets. It is NSFW featuring your humble host. That's me, Brian Brushwood, the bizarre magic guy, joined as always by my inimitable co-host, Mr. Justin Robert Young, who barely made it in time. Justin, I can't believe it was a total case of art imitating life. The fact that I was calling you, asking if you'd make it in time for the show. How awesome was that? Oh, yeah, except this time I wasn't actually uh, in your house yes. lying to America and all ships at sea. No, uh, I was actually, I just came back from L.A. today, and I am so excited to be back in home sweet home in my warehouse. Getting ready for NSF Double. By the way, uh, let's do, first of all, we got to introduce the rest of our crew here. We are joined in studio by not only my trusty assistant, Mr. OMG, it's Chad, but also on on probation, back from the dead. <laughs> I will try not to destroy this show this time. <laughs> I, my, my attempts to bring this show down failed last time. <laughs> This, uh, it's Corey Coleman from Spill.com. Freaking great to see you, Corey, man. Thank is you it so really? much. It really genuinely is. I'm glad really? you could make it out, that, dude. A little bit of sweat on your forehead no, is not that because look, you're nervous. I'm not going to lie. Part of me loves the high. I'm going to say, fire. Because I'm not going to say, shy. <laughs> My <laughs> <of> fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, so literally, like uh, Justin, uh, Corey did not know about our situation last time, about the fact that uh, the vid, like, like, we are like a toddler testing our borders. We want to know what we can and can't do. And after the Spill.com episode, we found out uh, where the lines are on language. So as a result, it's well, all... Well, yeah, to be fair, I think it, it's a collaborative effort between us and Twit. No one really knows exactly what we want NSFW to be in terms of content. And certainly uh, the, the Spill.com episode, Hotel Rwanda for Dogs, uh, <laughs> although everybody thought that was hilarious, the episode itself, <laughs> May have had a few of the old F words, N words, and, and all the life, the cornucopia <laughs> profanity. Yeah, G whiz, we're going to be clean tonight. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Golly. And speaking yeah, of. This the- is going to end with us convincing Chad to paint a fence white. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shucks, Brian. <laughs> All right, so let's set up the I first thing. I feel awful terrible about what I did last time. I, I'm glad to hear it, sir. Thank you. And I'm hungry as heck. That's right. Well, and you are sitting in front of an entire plate of meat, which we will explain in just a moment. First of all, that is delicious, delicious meat to anyone watching at home. That is Rudy's Barbecue from right here in Austin, Texas, which you actually had, right, Justin? Oh, my God, did I. Uh, <laughs> on the way to uh, L.A., we stopped at Rudy's, and I got... A uh, whole ton of meat all up in my face hole. 
and it was delightful. <laughs> can he say that? His face he hole? can't. No, his, his face does have a hole in it, and there was meat in it. So but this so is all my, factory. You know what? I that's, can't say I, that. that. I was me eating the meat, Brian. Kind of that's, that's good. Okay. Behind is this. So before we do this, we do we we have one element that we're going to do today that we want you guys to play along with at home. Earlier in the day, uh, one of our trusty uh, chat room. I, I want to call my writing staff tipped us off to explain this image.com, which is the awesomest place to go for just seriously, completely weird WTF images. Like none of them make any sense at all. And the, the purpose of the site is that, <laughs> is that you, uh, is that you put, you put clever, <laughs> you put clever, uh, titles for everything. You put clever c captions basically. Uh, for example, here we're looking at a photo. This is Sweet Baby Jesus and the Orphans, and there appears to be an Indian man holding forward a giant, looks like a, a trout, some kind of fish, and the clever caption somebody did was, he's the ba the bass player, like instead of the bass player, right? And so that alone, I was like, I was like, well, there's something to this, but I don't know what. And it was the inimitable Travis Lopes, <laughs> producer extraordinaire, who suggested that what we need to do is have the chat room over the course of the next 40 minutes put together motivational posters using like, uh, you could go to bighugelabs.com and they create the automatic successories parodies like uh, our friends at despair.com do with their demotivators where it's got a title and some kind of clever subtitle. We've already had a few entries come in and we're gonna share those in just a bit, but all of them very funny. The funniest in my opinions are the ones that make references specifically to NSFW in jokes and characters and memes, right? Do you have anything, anything that we wanna put to them before we send them off? Wait, put to, wait, put yeah, to the you wanna, crowd? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Put, put to them, uh, give them a, a word of advice or direction before they start inundating us. Oh, uh, uh, well, number one, we've been inundated. Yeah, Brian, Brian decides to just say, hey, Justin, why don't you go there? There's a few that's come in before the show. And meanwhile, the entire NSFW Gmail is full of them. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. Like I didn't know they were them. already full, dude. Because everybody, because everybody sent in nine at a time. It doesn't even matter if I highlight one of these. Uh, I, I think they're, they've been hilarious so far. So just good. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, keep them coming. Go. NSFW show at gmail.com. And now it is time for a brand new segment on the show, a segment that we like to call Leo says, he said, eat my meat. <laughs> Oh, wait, that was way quieter than I wanted it to be. Let me turn. There we go. All right, so here's the thing. We have not one, but two quasi-vegetarians, which I didn't know when I invited you over and I teased I'm, you about meat and I'm, everything. I'm telling you that Leo's up to something, man. He likes to watch animal sex or something. No, go, go, go. See, what is this? Leo, 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 what is this? You're killing you me. You're killing me. I'm just me. kidding. Like, <laughs> Leo can't take a joke. No, no, he can't. He totally can. Leo is one of the coolest, most relaxed, most joke-taking guys, but he's you also him, my boy. boss. Go ahead. Let him have it. He ain't my boss. I don't worry about me. Hey, you know what? Wait, what is, hey, You're Leo. killing me. Leo, Go drinking, man. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's talk about this. First of all, uh, uh, some people may know that OMG Chad has been a vegetarian. Let, let me give yeah. Chad the mic here. Yeah. Chad, you've Two been a vegetarian years. for. By some people, do you mean his parents? Who uh, yeah. cares about OMG Chad's eating habits? Yeah, that's right. Do, do, do your parents know about you being yeah. a vegetarian? Yeah, but my, my parents are, are all meat eaters. Like, it was like I was the black sheep of the family. Do they, do they tease you about, do they <laughs> tease you about <laughs> no, it? No, but it was like, like they couldn't eat, go to restaurants for like a month afterwards. But what's interesting is that you guys, you have like by far the most interesting reason for being a vegetarian of anything I've ever heard. I've yeah. never heard it. What, what was your excuse? My uh, reason, my excuse. Your excuse. What's what your, your excuse What's your lie? Well, uh, uh, it's uh, that uh, the environment is is the number one uh, reason because it takes so much uh, to raise animals. It takes you have to feed them. You have to get better water. to not even give them the chance yeah. to live. Exactly. Better that yeah. they not even be born. Yes. Yes. And so it's the yeah. carbon footprint thing for yep, you, right? Exactly. All right. So move this man. <laughs> All right, so but now, now, what makes you want to corrupt your soul and actually decide to actually cross the line and start well, eating meat again? Well, here, here's the story. As I was driving over to your house today, Brian calls me up and goes, hey, by the way, could you uh, swing by Rudy's and pick up 
I don't know, two pounds of everything that they have? <laughs> no, I was full on. I was just like, ah, oh, it's for the show. Could you get like a half pound of the moist brisket? Could you get a half pound of the bris of, of, of the turkey? Could you get a half pound of ribs and uh, two jalapeno sausage links? Yeah, do me a favor. Get on that. Make that happen. I was like, okay, I'll do that. That's a lot of food for you. And then I... I did, you not, did you not realize that was for you at all? Did I you know? I go, who's going to eat this? Are you going to eat all this? And he just gives me this look like... <laughs> well, by the way, you're going to be on the show tonight, Chad. Yeah, exactly. Well, so so it's like you've decided after two years. Now, you said yes. this was just an experiment. So this isn't yes. like I'm, I'm yes. corrupting it you was, against. It's not it like you're like, Jewish and I'm making you eat pork no, or no, something. No, no, no. It was one day I was like, man, Wait, I'm going to try this vegetarian thing for as long as and possible. And then we'll do the bit. Wait, say, say it again. Can he convert to Judaism and then we'll make him eat all the sausage? That'd you, be a way better bit. You know what? I totally agree, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we have a rabbi here. Can we convert him? I, yeah, you know what? I think somebody in the chat Can room. Can someone look up on Wikipedia how to make a Jew? <laughs> What are we gonna do? Run around a maypole four times and uh, take a lot of money and don't give it to him? anybody. By the way, the chat room instantly. Rabbit Badger says again, NSFW is a complete sausage fest. Yeah, I, I would love to be rich, uh, so I'm totally down with. Wait, did you what? Did what? you really it's just a joke? What? Oh Move my god! Oh. Oh. All right, look. So here's the thing. So you are giving up. You are giving up vegetarianism after two full years, yes. and so and so you said once I'm done, I'm done, right? Is that what's going on? And then uh, and yeah. so and so now you're ready to eat meat. Yeah. Uh, have you had Rudy's barbecue before? Yes. Really, once. really should have gotten once Rudy's before. to sponsor this. This is kill me. Uh, and then here's the extra bonus. Right, is, we're leaving so much money on the table. I know. I'm, it's killing me. It's killing me. Don't place that where the camera can see it because no, they, they, don't let them know that Rudy's Barbecue geez. in Austin, Texas or San Antonio is a delightful place where you can get all your meat needs service. <laughs> Why? How come everything you say comes out sounding dirty? Why is that? It is it's like even the most innocent? You get all your meat needs serviced. All right. So oh, let's, stop it, Brian. All right. Come so on, here's man. the thing. I want you guys. Uh, and because you, I, I did, I did not know this. You've been a closeted vegetarian sympathizer. Uh, well, yes, yes, I have. I eat vegetarian most of the week. I, I, I probably like about two or three weeks in a row. And then I have that time that I go out and eat meat. Like I eat a hamburger, big greasy old stinky hamburger. Yeah. And uh, for all those people out there talking about how gay it is to eat vegetarian, uh, first of all, there's a health reason for me. Okay. <laughs> first of all, first of all, can I just say literally, you're like for all those people who say it's gay, and you're like, first I know, of all, I'm, 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 I'm having to control myself so bad. First of all, people saying it's gay. Oh, frothy so wait, Corey, Corey, you, you, you're saying you're not a down low vegetarian? <laughs> no, 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 man. I'm proud to be a vegetarian most and of the time. And he's week. proud oh, let me to just be say this. No. When well, the sauces run so free. And then will forget. Go ahead. No, nah, first of all, um, and this is probably one of the few times I'm going to use this word, but uh, it's not, it's not going to be that bad. Uh, first of all, I know as a vegetarian, you call a guy can whoop your ass if, <laughs> if you got something, something to say about it. Second of all, I do it for health reasons. I grew up in a neighborhood where everybody's diet consisted of a lot of meat. So there was a lot of uh, diabetes going around. There was a lot of uh, high cholesterol. A meat, lot of, meat leads lot of to di diabetes? I thought that was sugary stuff. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a bad diet, pretty yeah. much. It's a bad diet that consists of a lot of sugar, a lot of uh, high cholesterol. I grew up with a lot of people that Lost a lot of limbs, a lot of eyesight. Some people just Man, this is all of a sudden getting dark, and all of a sudden I feel I bad. It's like, you know what? You guys don't eat this meat. I don't want you to eat the I meat I know. You, you say, no, 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 no. I, I say, I'm not the guy. You know why people hate vegetarians? Why? Because when vegetarians come in, like, they want to make it known. Like, yeah. they almost have a political agenda. Like, you say, uh, why don't you come to the barbecue? Now, me, I'll go to a barbecue. If I don't want to eat meat that day, I just say, hey, you know, I just ate. I'm not too hungry. Yeah. But this yeah, this yeah. all looks wonderful. Thank you. I'll just have a little bit of that cake over there. Yeah. But a lot of people, when they're vegetarians, they come in, they want to be like, Oh, I would come to your barbecue, but Carbon I'm difference. a vegetarian, and you're ruining the planet. Yeah. And you know, well, no, yeah, the, worst, the worst part is when they show up and they're like, "Wait, like you don't have zucchini?" As yeah. if that's yeah. like, like expected at every barbecue that you're and you're cooking the vegetarian I, specific. Meal. I actually ate dinner with somebody, and, I, and it, what? Thank God they weren't my friend. I actually ate dinner with someone who had a friend show up, and they brought a bag of food. This is at a steakhouse. They brought a bag of food for the waiter to go to to take to the kitchen so that they could heat it up for them and bring it back just so they could eat dinner with everybody else. You should have seen me sitting up there. I just wanted to take that Ziploc bag and ram it up there. Yeah. You know what I want to say. 
I'm proud of you, Corey. Well, thank you. You're I'm a good man, self- sir. Thank you. You're a team man, you player. you got to keep in mind. King Leo would be approved. In fact, he's on the line right now. He said, eat by me. And so here's the thing, though. But, but by the way, the bag thing, I've got kids, both of my kids have food allergies. So I'm a little bit sensitive to the to the, the bag issue because we do that all the time. We show up with, with food. We're like, hey, could you cook this rice? Because it won't kill my daughter. No, I, I think people can understand that. If you make it known, like, hey, my, my, I have a, an ailment here. I have a condition. That's fine. But a lot of people just want to be social and they and they want to let you know that oh you know I'm above this steak dinner right here uh, boy could you take this zucchini dinner to the kitchen and warm it up for me you know and I, yeah, it's like you know what in well, that case I, just don't that, show that's up that's the first time I've ever heard vegetarianism sound racist before <laughs> wait, wait, awesome. wait, how do I make it sound racist <laughs> it just sounded like a racist thing to say like it's like you're 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 the aristocracy I think Justin let me point. let me tell you something about and I'm sorry I was just raised this way these vigors out here I tell you man <laughs> <laughs> they really bother me, huh? <laughs> These vegetarians. Oh, yes, you yes. vegers. These vegers. They're, ru- they're taking everything, man. <laughs> they're ruining the country. <laughs> all right. Well, hey. You know, I really have a problem with what they're doing to our school system. All right, oh, look, I'm uh, sorry, Vigros. They were, <laughs> I had some move next door to me, and I really no, want to move allowed. on. If you, if, you are, if you are vegetarian, you can say vegas. Can say vegas. <laughs> yeah, that's their words, though. What's up, my vigor? That's their word, not our word. <laughs> that's their word. You do not get, meat eaters do not get to call them vegers. All right, so let's do this. We've got, we've got the best Rudy's meat right now. Uh, the Rudy's sauce is amazing. Just tuck yourself out. Of, oh, you've got plates. Put put the sauce in there. And, and in fact, I'll join you. By actually. the way, I have it. to admit something to you guys before you eat this. What? Can I? And then this is serious. Uh, do my Pete little time right there. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I spit all over this, and I'm sure you saw it, Chad. Yeah, no, no, no. That's uh, okay. I touched it all. No, look, it's not like it's not like you vegans have germs, so don't worry about it. It's like <laughs> everything. You're, you're all you're all just people. Uh, <laughs> vegan Americans. <laughs> v- 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 <laughs> vegan Americans. All right, there we go. Hey, you about to get sauce in my jeans. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no sauce <laughs> in your jeans. Look, uh, I, I, I don't... Um. What's this, what is this all about? What's, what are we trying to prove here? Hey. All right, so here's the deal, folks. What we want to do is... Chad is not going to uh, explode if he eats meat. Young Chad, yeah. uh, meat drunk. Yeah, and, we're, uh, we're, trying, we're trying to get a meat drunk. Friend, it don't work that uh, way. Eventually, <laughs> there comes a point where they're like, eh, enough of this, horse apples. I want to actually eat meat like a normal human I, being. And I like the way he just so, takes all... The, is that turkey? It's not all what? He takes he just takes all the turkey. Like he wants to like slowly increment himself into eating beef. So he's like taking all the turkey he wants. Exactly. I want, I want some turkey. By the way, the plan I the, want some bird. The plan the plan here. Kind of, the plan. Kind of, the kind of plan. Have I'm a sorry. Half eager move. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can spice things up for you. you want me to? Is it bland here? I can make it interesting. <laughs> you know I can. You What's fine, fine that- mama. <laughs> so here's the, here's the plan. The plan is we're going to try to get Chad meat drunk. We're convinced that his system can't handle meat after so many years of vegetarianism. And so we're going to administer sobriety tests every 15 minutes to see whether or not he's gotten meat drunk or not. So you eat as much as is comfortable. But, Chad, you eat until you're pretty sure you're about to die. That's that's your charge, sir. Yeah, see what I got to sit here. Now, you sit next to me. You don't sit here and start farting. It, it's, <laughs> oh, no. It's going to be a musty room. I think it's gonna get a little, little. I do. I, I Let me do tell you have... something. If I can tell you this, and I think this is true, I, had, I don't have any scientific proof. But if you <laughs> haven't eaten, like, when's the last time you? And this is gonna sound gay. I know. I don't care. But when's the last time you yeah. ate meat? Two years ago. Two it years ago. Two years ago. It wasn't that guy that raped you next door. Oh was, come no, on! No, no, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's, come I, on. I, know, I, could, no. I couldn't help myself. Uh, <laughs> no, the, wait, it was two years. <laughs> Chad is mad about that. Two Chad looked at me like, man, did you really have to do that? No, it was two years. It was, it was two years ago? Yeah. I heard that when you, if you go through a long period of not eating like meat. Like one year it, and nine months and 35 like days. I heard that your stomach has a hard time digesting that. Now, I'm not sure, but Chad is up here getting full off of meat. I think You have some beer, too? Uh, no. No. Okay. He's, he's like, too young. He's, he's, he's not quite 21 yet. He will be in three months. Look, in three weeks, weeks, in three weeks he turns 21, and then we have a whole other show planned for him. Wait a minute, Chad was just telling me downstairs, like, man, after the show tonight, I'm going to go get No, that's not what he said. He did, Chad, did you not say that? (laughs) Oh, my, man, Chad, why you doing me like this, man? (laughs) Chad, now you know you said that. Chad was like, like, Chad even asked me. Uh, Pimping. Oh, pimping indeed. Come on, dude. All right, so uh, first of all, let me, I want to, yeah, yeah, this is is the big moment. This is the first meet in two years. There you go, and I want to hear your description of it. That's, yeah, make it gross. Good job. Kablam! <laughs> hand just blows His up. head explodes like in scanners, yeah. right? Hold this right here. And how, how do, now, now, does it taste um, good after two years of not doing it? Or are you sort of disappointed? 
I don't know. It's uh, the sauce is awesome. Yeah, the sauce is awesome. I'm about to sit up here and take some of this I don't know. It's before he eats it all. Yeah, it, it reminds me of like memories. What could you? It reminds you of memories. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, hold on, Jack. I know, at the moment, uh, number one, what, what, what memory do you have that, that this evokes? <laughs> You're swimming like, now in, in transient thought of time gone by. <laughs> by the way, by the way, the chat room's pointing out that Chad just lost his virginity. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, but, no. You know, it's like that second promise thing, you know? Yeah. It's like you can get it back. Uh, I'm sorry. All right, Chad, so what, what's yeah, the last time it's you It's like, it's like yeah. Getting that bird, bird right up in your face. I'm not going to do it. It's okay, like, good. I remember what that tastes like. Man, can, damn, Brian, do you at least have a jalapeno or something? Yeah. Something green? Yeah, that, no, really this, this is, this is the, there are jalapenos oh. in this sausage link here. I that, like, oh, I, that, I like that. That's, I'm talking about a jalapeno. Uh, no, we don't have a jalapeno. Hold on. Uh, no, Bonnie, is, have... Bonnie is sending over toothpicks for everyone. Thank you. Oh, my God. And what she said, this is for Chad's gap, is what she put on the note. <laughs> because she's Bonnie the Invisible Wife. Well done, sweetheart. She should have brought a cork in here putting his ass up. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. No, is that in his wrong? backside. Oh, you know, his backside. You know, I'm sorry. I'm He's sorry. To ricochet to around the room to like put a it, champagne He should have bought a cork to put in his tushy. <laughs> Because that's what it is. <laughs> okay. So let's do this. Do we want to, uh, I mean, they're just going to pick out. The next, it's not going to get interesting until the two of them, like, start to feel ill. First of well, all. No, let, let, let's do I'm a, a man, control okay? for Chad. We're, we're going to do what? Can you do, do a control so we can see where his hmm. his meat drunk will be. All right, so, so, so we, we assume you're meat sober right now. You've only had a couple yeah. of social social sausages. So if you would, uh, <laughs> in the chat. Why does that sound so dirty? No, because see, Chad, you guys are. Chad, let me tell you something. All right, all right. Chad, Chad's a man. Chad could take meat as much as any other guy. All right, no, this is good. All By right. the way, I, I also right. love the fact that Corey guards the mic like, like a center in basketball. <laughs> and he's just boxing Chad out. He's I'm going to speak to Chad right now. Chad doing fine. Chad, Chad eat me just fine, okay? Chad doing okay. I'm telling you, I'm talking about Chad out here. Chad can have it. He's meeting like everybody else. Now look here. Chad, eat all this barbecue. Chad's going to be all right. You understand? All right. The media wants to believe Chad's going to suffer, but Chad's going Chad to come through. Chad's going to prevail. <laughs> okay, so, right. so first of all, chat has already elected you as permanent co-host from now on. <laughs> I, like, I like the way you wipe the mic yeah, off. Like, oh, <laughs> I just all over. I'll still talk. All right, no, that's all right. <laughs> it's not where it's not like we're all eating off the same plate. Okay, so Chad, uh, let's do a real quick baseline right. sobriety test here. We don't think we were meat drunk yet. We just want to know if it's coming up. Uh, you want to go ahead and minister that for us, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Uh, yeah. Uh, do me a favor, Chad, and tell me the capital of Texas. <laughs> Austin, Texas. No right. delay. No delay. That's good. You got another? No delay. No delay. There we go. So that now we know so there was scary. no delay. So as he gets progressively more meat drunk, we will see the effect. Oh, no. By the way, I'm sorry. I'm eating the the, the Rudy sausage. Uh, folks in the chat room were wondering where to Wait send to their images. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. It's like, look, there's professional and then there's delicious Rudy. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, in this case... Chat room was wanting to know where to send their images for the contest. Go ahead and send it to nsfwshow at gmail.com. Uh, and in fact, uh, you can correspond Brian, with us we, at all times. Can we go ahead and give TL uh, the, the, the Gmail thing? Because yeah. I can't, I can't yeah, you can't keep up. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and, and set them up with that. You remember all that stuff, right? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I actually don't. Okay, well, then maybe I will Brian. send something. If TL will send me a request Brian. in the chat room, I'll send it right Brian. over. Yes, what is up? What is up? <laughs> Do you have something you want to tell me about the meat in your hands? I can really taste the jalapeno in this. You can. You can. <laughs> sorry, See, I was I looking out for you. I was looking out for you, I dude. I feel terrible now. <laughs> hey, Chad. The jalapeno is real. Did you taste the jalapeno? <laughs> <laughs> I tasted the jalapeno. <laughs> He's drunk now. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what's wrong with this boy? All right, so let's do this. You you want to move on? Look, these guys are just gonna pick out. They're... What? What? <laughs> You know, if he doesn't get drunk off the sausage, I think he's going to just get drunk off my company. So, like, I mean, so you can you already see. Crazy you can see. Right now, that's like, the first phase of meat, of meat intoxication. He's he's giddy. Look at him. He's giddy. And he's this. clearly. He's, uh, Chad, in, in it, diving. Almost, it almost Chad, looks don't, like don't he's too comfortable with two pieces of meat in each hand stuffed in his face. Chad, <laughs> look. What? Chad, don't act a fool for these white folks out here. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Act a uh, <laughs> Brothers like that, we need to watch out for each other, okay? <laughs> okay. All this clown nonsense. All right, right. so let's do no, this. No, 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 let them 
them go, Brian. Let them go. Oh, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're going to have you out here doing a buck dance talking about mammy. Don't, don't do this, man. <laughs> I don't want it to come to that. <laughs> no, you know. Eat, eat that meat like you got some sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eat the meat. Uh, eat the meat as classily as you're able. That's what, that's what we want you to do. Oh, yeah. By the way, somebody if said Chad. Listening to the audio feed, who's never seen <laughs> OMG Chad? Imagine a metrosexual Alfred E. Newman just two fisting uh, pork plates right in his mouth. That's uh, by the way, that right there is brilliant. A metrosexual Alfred E. Newman two fisting pork plates. That is, some, I could not have put it better than some, myself. Somebody said Chad is high on black. <laughs> <laughs> I believe and it. Who I told it you, who would not be? <laughs> okay, wait, uh, do we have a second bit set up for this whole thing? Shouldn't we be moving in a different direction Yes, yet? yes, mm -hmm. Brian. Uh, we have a, a fun little Twitter game. Uh, do we need, do we, do we get people in the pre-show to help Yeah, let's do this. Do I tell you what, we're going to take, we're going to take the next two callers who want to be our contestants on Corey Skype. Corey Coleman, you bitch. What? What? Somebody said, somebody said I'm, I'm, oh my God. You be, you be. Yeah, uh, no, and, and that's fine. He can say bitch, but uh, you, remember, Corey, you have to say what's happening. You just yell at the words. No, I know. Right. I'm going to say what's happening. I'm going to tell you what's happening. Somebody said, what's the black guy's name? <laughs> Chad. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody knows you, Chad. It's OMG Chad. Wow. <laughs> I, know. I know. I know that it's hard, but you can't just be a vegan and yell at the things on the big screen and funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Uh, the next two people who call in at NSFW show on Skype. I'm going to take two audio callers who are going to stay on the line long enough to play our game. we got a little game for you guys. It's a Twitter game. Justin uh, Robert Young, bitch. Wow. Sorry. Somebody asked what the white guy's name was. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out. sorry. I just want to shout that stuff out. That's all oh right. Oh, my God. You know, they're right. Somebody said black people always yell at the screen, and I'm doing it right now. <laughs> for no reason. All right. Pork chops and applesauce. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me actually try to get the right. Uh, Don't eat right that rim, Chad. All right. You're not going to believe this. Can you guess who our very first caller is, uh, Mr. Justin Robert Young? President Barack Obama. Uh, no, 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 it's not. Hang on. We actually have our two callers. I'm going to try to conference them in together. I don't know how to make this. Oh, there we go. We have on the line our two callers. Don't worry. Contest is already over. Nobody else can get in. Our two. Ca yes, you can have everything. This is all. All this meat is yeah, for you. <laughs> That's uh, everyone else calling in, you're too late. We already have our two contestants. Our, our two contestants are Kuhan and Zach Woo! Holder, DJ Z. Two friends that are familiar to the show. How are you guys doing? Doing great, Brian. How are you? Doing well. That's the Zach Holder. Let me hear from Kuhan. Are you there, buddy? Kuhan, use your words. Unmute your mic. Caller. Chat room is already shouting at Kuhan. <laughs> oh, my God. Kuhan is not talking. Talk. I'm here. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the chat, chat, room, chat room is being relentless to Kuhan right now. That's awesome. <laughs> What is I'm wrong betting. with your okay. face? <laughs> All right, we got Kuhan. Kuhan, talk to me, buddy. Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay, good. All right, so... Ku wait, hold on. <laughs> Get through <laughs> emming. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> he, he just had, he just had to run in. Okay, so we got Kuhan and we got uh, the Zach Holder. First of all, let's... Uh, uh, why don't you set up this bit for us, Justin Robert Young? Explain what, what we're looking at. Uh, all right. Well, uh, we are all big fans of, of Twitter and specifically the bright, bold personalities which make the service what it is. Two of them, undeniably, are uh, veteran television and film actor Danny DeVito. Yes. And everyone's favorite. I mean, I, Brian, would you agree with me in calling him the Mark Twain of our generation? You know what? I, I, I got I to gotta give credit to Mr. Johnny Zavant for being the one who turned me on to my new favorite. And he only has like 1,500 followers. So you could be one of the first to follow in on it. But Drunk Hulk is one of the funniest tweeters out there. This is clearly a comedian who intentionally tweets as if he is the Hulk drunk at any given time. Yes. But bro, I would like to add on to that, but you so succinctly summed it up, I don't think I can. So okay. here's it's the deal. We are going to read side by side the uh, random, many times admittedly drunken ramblings of Danny DeVito, along with the possibly fictionalized uh, drunken ramblings of the Hulk. And that to me is the genius of this, because it's like on the one hand, you have what's clearly a comedy writer trying to write as a drunken super superhero slash villain. And then you have an actual human being who's just saying what's on his mind. And it's surprisingly difficult to tell 
who's who if you hear the two side by side, right? So here's what and, I'm going to do. Yeah, and, and to be fair with Danny DeVito, if you were in Taxi and then Always Sunny in Philadelphia at two different completely uh, points in your career, like 30 years apart, you just get wasted every day too because what else do you have to accomplish? No, really? you've clearly done it all. When you're on the funniest show on the world that's ever existed and you were also in Taxi, that's clearly everything that matters. Go, game over. <laughs> Why don't you buy a limoncello line and just chug it down morning, noon, and night? <laughs> exactly. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We are going to read, Justin and I are going to read, each of us will read a tweet, and we're going to try to read it as the same character. Maybe we'll read both as Drunk Hulk or both doing our Danny DeVito impressions. Then you will be able to ask advice from either Corey or from OMG Chad, and based on that, you'll make your final decision. And uh, best two out of three is our big winner. Wait a minute. Nobody told me about this. No, wait. You're going to have to give it. I, I totally told you about no, this. You're acting you. like, oh, God. All right. He's already <laughs> meat drunk. Which oh, my God. One? Look at OMG Chad already. He's looking a little meat tipsy. <laughs> he is looking a little meat <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. tipsy, dude. He's, he's, pulling, he's pulling, uh, pulling bread apart like a child. He's got the euphoria. Uh, in diving, they call this nitrogen narcosis, which is like the euphoria that you get where you're just a little bit out of sorts because you're just giddy with all the Ooh, nitrogen yeah. in your brain. Kablooey! I was responding to somebody on there. Okay, know. okay, thank you. See, I, went, just, I don't have, like, Tourette's and... <laughs> no, you clearly do have Tourette's. All right, Kuhan had a question before we move forward. What was your question, Kuhan? Yeah, which one's the black one? OMG Chad, how many times do we have to tell okay. you this? Sorry, sorry. Come on. That's, all right. So let's do this. Uh, <laughs> OMG Chad. Did See, I didn't, I didn't you did, you did not even do that. Okay, so who wants to go Wesley first? Wesley Snipes is the black one. Uh, Kuhan, He's the blackest one. <laughs> Kuhan or, or the Zach Holder, who wants to go first? Kuhan go. He, he, he's always late. Give him a chance. All right, Kuhan, uh, let's do this. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to read this first tweet as Danny DeVito, and the next tweet will come for Justin Robert Young, also read as Danny DeVito. Try to figure out which one is Drunk Hulk and which one is Danny DeVito. Here we go. <clears throat> America held hostage as Rosie O'Donnell threatened return to daytime TV. All right, and this is the other one. Bangladeshi music, far out chucks, man. This is tight magoots. All right, so first of all, you want to, you, who do you want to consult with, OMG Chad or Corey? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consult with Corey. All right, Corey, Corey. Now, you, you're, not look, you're not peeking over there, so you can just say, from the two, what, <laughs> what's your opinion? <laughs> he's, he's got a mouthful of barbecue. Go <laughs> <ahead>. <laughs> No, I'm going to say that the second one, is Danny DeVito. Why? Why is that? Talk it out. Because the first one said something about staying at home and watching television. I don't think Danny DeVito has time to be at home watching all kind of television and then tweeting about it. And I don't think uh, Hulk would ever say Magoots. <laughs> By the way, right now, I have to point out, like, I, I'm the one who's tweaking all the volumes during the show, and I just had to triple the volume on this mic, because that is the most sensibly you've spoken the entire episode long. <laughs> well, why he's over here getting drunk, <laughs> I'm coming over like a comatose state of mind, because I'm actually eating, because I was starving before. Well, yes, and, and now you loopy, have. Uh, and yes. now I have food in my stomach. Now, I can act like a proper We well, see, that's somebody who's had a lot of meat in his time, and he's able to control. Chad has, too. You know, well, Chad, <laughs> not for the last two years. He's, he's a little bit. I don't yeah. know. You ever read the bathroom wall? All right, hang on. Chad's there we go. <laughs> see, you need the B wall. Have I ever read the B wall? Don't say bathroom on the show. Oh, wow. Is it this strict here now? <laughs> yes. All right, Kuhan, which one is which, sir? All right, I think, I think I'm going to agree with Corey here and say that the second one was Danny DeVito. Justin Robert Young. Congratulations. Oh. That's one point for Kuhan. Now we go to the Zach Holder. Kuhan, that is, I know what I'm talking about. Is, is Zach yeah. Holder the one that's, which one is the uh, black one? No, uh, no, that was Kuhan. That was, <laughs> that was your boy. Yeah. Oh, if I would have known, I would have sabotaged you, man. <laughs> <laughs> to get this thing straight. I would have told you the exact no, the wrong yeah, thing. No, no, the, by the way, I know you are, Corey. Out that, I'm a oh, it is, oh, it is okay, I'm sorry. This guy, that guy's great. Corey to be unreliable. Wait, cool. wait, say, say that again. Wait, what was that, Justin? We couldn't hear it. It is up to OMG uh, Chad or Corey to lie. They can do whatever they yeah, want. You guys Their can choose to lie or tell the truth. You feel free to lead them astray you know if you want. I'm so sorry. That cool Han's a great kid. I like that guy. Okay, well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, now we're on to the real Zach Holder. Who's this man? <laughs> DJ Z. Are you ready for the next one? 
No, no, yeah, let's do it. No. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm trying to, uh, and you know what? We both may have to be creative in picking our lines here. Do you want to? Do you want to start off on this one, Justin? Do you want to? I'm read? gonna read. I'm gonna read this one as Drunk Hulk. Okay, and okay. we'll both read them as Drunk Hulk. Okay. All right. Proud announce that Drunk Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> You pick the ones that have them talking about themselves. Okay, that's 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 what you gotta you gotta you gotta work around. Okay, that. I want to guess that that Justin's a drunk Hulk, and you're probably dating to oh, Brian. Okay, all right, let's uh, try try to get it. You gotta get creative here. All right, keep going. I like the way he just all got right, caught up in here. Here we go. All right. um, I'm gonna read another one as drunk Hulk. All right. Peter Graves on his most impossibleist mission yet. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Knowing we have such great president, Hulk confident, 2010, going to fill with acts of kindness, responsibility, and hard work. One family. <laughs> All right, Zach Alder, which is which? Well, no, 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 no. Uh, there's one OMG Oh, yeah, Chads. yeah, yeah. What? Actually, who do you want? You, whose advice do you want? OMG Chads or, <laughs> or Corey Colvin's? All right, let, let's go for the... Uh, um... Uh, let's go for for the, the drunk boy, OMG Chad. The meat drunk. Go with the meat drunk. All right. All right. All right. Well, my opinion is is that the uh, the first one was Drunk Hulk because it was short and concise, and uh, Drunk Hulk normally is. And uh, the other one. Do you, uh, do you actually follow Drunk Hulk? No, I don't. But I've heard. <laughs> no. But he's heard some really great no. things, Brian. <laughs> no, I don't. But someone told me. That, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, and the other one, um, uh, Brian threw in that Drunk Hulk name, and, and uh, I don't trust it. <laughs> oh, interesting. So you think I would actually manufacture yeah. a false yeah. tweet? Yes. Well, that's and up may, to you. And may I add here that I just wait, don't, wait, 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 wait. I, I just don't think uh, the Hulk is very political. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, let's hear from DJ Z, the Zach Holder. Who's, Chad, uh, I, I think you're spot on. That sounds something Brian would do. So uh, uh, the first quote, the Peter Graves on his most impossible mission yet. Gotta be drunk Hulk. All right, Justin. So the other one's gonna be Danny DeVito. Correct, correct, correct the moon. Oh, it's a tie game. We got one to one. By the way, I do want to say in my defense that the only word I changed was uh, I substituted drunk Hulk. I actually said Hulk. I should have said drunk Hulk uh, for Trollfoot. He actually said, like, literally, that's the reason I picked this is because sometimes Danny DeVito will tweet about, like, as if his drunk Trollfoot was talking. And that's what I thought it was here. All right, so let's do this one. I'm going to do this one. Um, I'm going to read this one as Danny DeVito. This is this is back to Kuhan again. I'm going to read it as Danny DeVito, and the next one will also be read as Danny DeVito by Justin Robert Young. Here we go. <clears throat> Instead of Waterboard, use Scarlet Letter. That book be tortured children's for over a century with good results. More you know. All right, here's the next one. That was a damn fine, Danny that was, DeVito, that was if good. I do say so. Go ahead. Yeah, whatever. Um, oh. That was turned on. Tuesday, phone call you. 10 a.m., Hulk happy. Frank's ball burst into flame. Roar of grease paint, mostly the smell of the crowd, eh? <laughs> All right, so who's, whose advice do you want, Corey or OMG Chad, Kuhan? Choose uh, wisely. <laughs> I think he's actually masturbating to me. <laughs> he's he's Corey. emming. He's Corey. emming. He's emming. Corey. Come on, go ahead. Corey, Corey, Corey helped me out down. earlier. I think Corey can help me out again. All right, go, Corey. Go. That first one was definitely Danny DeVito. First oh, one is Dan know. definitely Danny DeVito. Yeah. About about the Scarlet Letter. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first one. Hey, the waterboarding one. Was, yeah, one was the, 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 yeah, torture, torture, sc yeah. the Scarlet Letter. Yeah, yeah. Danny cares about all that nonsense. Yeah, that's him. Hulk well, wouldn't well, care the, about that. There's also the fact, there's also the fact that he used, he used no articles. So, man, what, I, I think I think it's... Look, man, who, who's the advice are you asking for, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hey, asshole, listen to the person who's giving you advice. to help you out here, okay? I can't discuss? No, no. No, you asked me for my help. My time is valuable. I'm giving it to you. I went on Hollywood here? Squares with the guy be like, hey, Joe Rivers, you dumb bitch. Why don't you give me some real Watch it, uh, watch, watch it. it. Put some money in the yeah. curse jar. <laughs> you dumb bee. After we finish with this sauce, no, okay. you need to put you know some what? money in here. I, I, you know what? 
I think since Corey said earlier he tried to sabotage me, I'm going to go with the opposite and say the torture one was Drunk Hulk. Wow, so you would right. call Corey Coleman a liar. All right. A lying liar. That's good. I'm all right, all right. Well, let's wrong. find out. We're just a Robert Young. All right. Two, not bad. All right, so let's go back to DJ Z, the real Zach Holder. Zach, are you ready for this? Thank you, smart, cool. Hey, Bring it on. I'm going to let Justin take it from here. What are we Making doing, Justin? Everything. All right, here we go. I'm going to read this one cool, as man. Drunk Hulk, and then Brian will also read the other one as Drunk Hulk. All right. If tree falls in forest, how's the cat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> uh, I don't know how to rework this one. All right, uh, hold on. Okay, no, I got it. <clears throat> Proud announce that Drunk Hulk be commencement speaker. Drunk Hulk will commence crap out of those preschooler. Who do you oh, want to ask? To you know, don't, 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 don't ask me. You know, the reason why that last one was wrong because somebody didn't believe in me. <laughs> you know? Well, that was cool. Exactly. That was cool. All right, all right. Who, who do you want? OMG Chad or Kuhan? I want, I want, <laughs> I want Kuhan. Kuhan. You want You want who? Uh, Corey. Corey. You're back to Corey. Back to Corey. What's it going to be, buddy? You know, I honestly wasn't listening to those last ones. <laughs> I didn't think anybody would pick me. All right, real quick. <laughs> real, real quick. Real quick. J uh, Justin, re-say re it. Yes. Wait, well, which one you want the first well, one? It, it turns out that our co-hosts weren't really paying attention. So <laughs> we, we got to... <laughs> no, he wasn't. Stop lying. You were the... Oh. All right, you know what? Oh, Sorry, damn it. So you tell me that uh, OMG Chad's too busy gargling <laughs> a mouthful of meat to Actually, pay attention OMG to what Chad everyone's was going attentive. to do on the show? Uh, OMG Chad was attentive. Let's, let's, I think... I think. Just read the damn thing. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Please. Here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> if, if tree falls in forest, how's the cat? <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Proud announced that Drunk Hulk be commencement speaker. Uh, Drunk Hulk Man, will nobody commence asking crap to... out of preschooler. Ain't nobody asking Drunk Hulk to speak anywhere. The first one's Danny DeVito. First one is Danny DeVito. I mean, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. The, that one, Se that, the second one. The, the second one the, is Danny DeVito. The, 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 the commencement just, speech. The commencement speech. Yeah, that's Danny DeVito. All right, all right, all right. That's, that's the advice from the man himself. What do you got, DJ? But you got to believe. Uh, I think Justin was reading Danny DeVito. I think you're reading Drunk Hulk, Brian. Sorry, Corey. I'm going against you on this one. Are they, are they searching? I hope you are so wrong. <laughs> Justin? I hope you suffer for this. Oh, my God. He got it again. All right, I'm he gone. saw right through our you know ruse. What? You know what? I'm gone. It's, uh, I feel you know, stupid. Thank <laughs> you for making me feel stupid. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Let's do one more. Do yourself a favor, people. Don't call me anymore. All right, all right, let's do this. This one, this last one, this last one. Nobody gets to ask one of the experts. We're just gonna Ooh. kick it out, and and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna let you guys what buzz in to say which one they think it is. You want to do that? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think I think uh, we should read one. And then they should just be able to. I think they should have to tell what which one it is right off the bat. I'm so sorry. Okay, all right. That's we only good. Read one of them. We don't. We don't compare. No, that's good. Okay, we'll give it to each of you. Okay, Kuhan, this one goes to you first. <clears throat> and this one, I will read as Brian Brushwood. And uh, for the first time, uh, okay. I I will take minor liberties with the language because both of these uh, both options here sound a little bit weird, and I don't want to give anything away. So here we go. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Sometimes I wish Twitter 150 characters instead of 140. This way I can really express myself. Who said that? Danny DeVito or Drunk Hulk? Answer right now. Don't Google it, I'm you piece of ass. Drunk Hulk. He says Drunk Hulk? What? All right, Justin, you got you got another one you want to say? You read it yourself? Read it as yourself? Uh, yeah, okay. Here we go. I'm going to uh, go ahead with this one. I'm going to read it as myself. Good coffee this morning. Can't wait to soak myself in a tub of booze. Drinking and walking okay. Drinking and driving not good. Listen up, bitches. <laughs> All right. Zach? That's got to be Danny DeVito. He's the only one who talk about driving drunk not being good. <laughs> oh, that's a tie game. I don't believe it. I don't 
don't believe Brian, it. Hey, Brian, can I point out how awesome this game is? <laughs> <laughs> now, are you being sarcastic? Because I love this game. I actually think it's really good, and and I'm kind of proud that everyone is able to to can tell the subtle something? distance differences. Yes. Is Dan DeVito drunk when he's doing these two? Oh, dude, clearly. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't well, know no, the he guy. It. He uh, he'll he'll say that he's drunk. The question is, is Dan DeVito ever sober? Yeah, that, yeah, right. By the way, here's what I really wanted to do is point out side by side. This one right here that you're looking at me click on in the Google document, Justin. Let's yeah. read these two side by side and we'll read them both as uh, uh, imagine in, in sort of an ebony and greenery kind of way. The two of uh, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito and Drunk Hulk are like trying to say the same sentiment. Sometime. Drunk Hulk wish Twitter 150 character instead of 140. This way, Drunk Hulk can really express self. To which Danny replies, The buzz sounds okay, but who wants more character space? If you can't say what you want in 140 spaces, you should make a damn phone call. <laughs> That's Danny DeVito. That's Danny DeVito. <laughs> you saw that so well. I know. You thought it was, right? I did. I thought it was Danny DeVito who just came in the room. Like, where did drunk Danny DeVito come from? <laughs> he does oh these God. impressions. And then Justin takes like his mask off. People. It is Danny DeVito. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Uh, huge round of thank you. Big <laughs> mega awesomes to both Kuhan and DJ Z. Congratulations. You are both rock Winner. stars. You're wieners, but not quite the wieners. You win each you know other's what? wieners. Well done, sir. And I'll give you one of these. Yeah, that's right okay. Here. That's enough of that. And you're off. I'm Get sorry. G GTFO. What do you What do you say to these winners, my little sweetheart, Penelope? Gay. GTFO. Okay. All right. Seriously. You said eat by me. All right. Look, let's make this. Uh, Chew, Speaking of which, uh, how is that meat coming? By the way, you guys have made a serious dent. I was hungry. <laughs> You had me sit up here starving for two hours. What you think is going to be like? I can't believe you guys haven't had hardly any of the ribs, though, dude. You don't like ribs? You don't like ribs? I don't like meat. <laughs> but he's eating the but meat. You, you, but I can't complain. I think it's time oh for us God. to do a little check. By the way, by the way, can we, I, I want everybody who's watching the video version of this, either live or on iTunes. And by the way, it's just going like hotcakes. Everybody pick it up. Uh, Corey's face, whenever Chad says something like, I don't like meat, in fact, if you just roll back the tape about five seconds, like, what? you can just see Corey's face is a damn holding back a torrent of jokes that he just does not want to look at. <laughs> if you ever want to look up the face of restraint, just dial it back about 15 seconds ago. I'm like Samuel Jackson of Pulp Fiction. I think he was like, I'm trying hard. <laughs> I'm trying real hard, Ringo. <laughs> to be I'm the trying shepherd. I'm trying hard to be the shepherd here. <laughs> hey, you know what? Actually, before we do our next sobriety test for uh, OMG Chad, uh, guess what's special about this episode, Mr. Justin Robert Chung? <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian, it's because we're sponsored by Audible Of again. course we are. Dude, let me tell you. By the way, I got the emails from everybody who signed up. You remember last time I offered to bribe everyone who signed up at audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. <laughs> Did you just burp into the Chad, microphone? why'd you do that, man? During, Chad, I told Now, what did I tell you about him? During the, uh, the commercial. All I right. told you. Which, All by right. the way, that was the other problem about the last time you guys were on. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Actually, last time you guys were a little saucy during our commercial. You got to give us some time here. Uh, so the, uh, I got messed up during that last time. Yeah, you did get a little I'll bit messed up. two beers. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'm so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so let's do this. First of all, uh, and, and this is no lie. This is one of those things, Sons like, literally, bitches. I call, right, I'm, I'm going to turn down your microphone for a bit here. Uh, seriously, Justin and I get excited about one sponsor, one sponsor only, because there's one sponsor, you know, the Ford sponsor we were happy to have, but we don't drive Ford automobiles. But I'll tell you one thing, we use the bejesus out of, and what is that, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Audible.com. Yeah, no, and no lie. It's like, first of all, we're both podcast fiends. That's why we're in this business. We're both audiobook fiends, which is why we listen to a lot of audiobooks. And These literally, guys don't read text, mother <laughs> uh -uh. Mother, father, I sister, put my brother. I books through my ear holes. <laughs> okay. So first of all, uh, by the way, your pick, I asked you earlier, as soon as you got off the plane, I told you that, that we had Audible back on for this podcast. Uh, there are two things I want to talk about. First of all, we do we are still continuing our bribe. I've sent out like a, a, a dozen books so far. I say I, but I made Chad send them all out on my behalf. But, yeah. uh, but uh, we'll talk about the bribe here in a second. But you had a pick already. That was one of my favorite books I read from last year. Tell me about it. 
All right, it's a little plug by the name of Pandora Star. It's written by Peter F. Hamilton, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, narrator, whose name I do not know, is incredible and awesome. It is everything that is right with audiobooks. Uh, and as a sci-fi story, it, it, it if you're not like, here's the thing. Because I always listen to people, and even like Brian and Andrew Main on the Weird Things podcast, and they talk about sci-fi stories. And it's always like, they always like try to talk to each other on this level of like, like, oh, you know, well, I really liked what they did in the post-singularity universe where, you know, the science and space travel is really fascinating. And meanwhile, Which, all listen, you... It's fine and well and good, right? Mm -hmm. But for simpletons like me, and I'm sure plenty of other people who are listening right. would you to this hear, possible podcast, would you I want to hear, hear about action, said, adventure, food. Said, you want to hear Eat My Meat, yeah. Yes, well, no, I want to hear about, you know, some crazy people chasing each other with guns, and they start banging, and then they get murdered. Like, I want that kind of stuff. And this is in spades in uh, Pandora Star. Pick it up, folks, but don't take my word for it. Listen to it yourself. That's Turn right. Up, but um, oh, we got to get that soundbite actually for our uh, for for when we do the ads of the future. <clears throat> Second of all, uh, you know what I'm finally listening to that I was late to the game on is I'm finally I just started the Accidental Billionaires, which is Ben Mesrich, the guy who wrote uh, Bringing Down the House, uh, yes. which became the movie Twenty One, which I loved Bringing Down the House, and what I love it's clearly a fictionalized stuck. it's a fictionalized account of the people who created Facebook, and the guy right at the beginning says, "Listen." This reads like a novel because I'm trying to tell the story. When the characters talk, maybe it didn't happen at this place. Maybe I combined the places or whatever, but I've got all the notes and all the testimonials and all the stories that people told me. This is the story of Facebook, and it sucks you in from page freaking one. It's absolutely amazing. Do you know the only thing that would make like uh, Audible an even better sponsor would be if, if – I just wish it was the kind of thing where it's like they didn't just have to – you know, take our word for it, but they actually could try it on their own, you know? I know, Brian. If only there was some sort of a trial process that you could go through just by listening to, let's say, our show, entering into a promo code and getting a book for free. Oh, my goodness. And isn't that exactly what you get if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW? Let me actually call up the actual details here because I don't want to get it wrong because these are the guys that are, that are paying uh, attention. Yeah, I do want to let everybody know there's different kinds of plans. There's the, uh, the, the gold plan, I think, is one book a month. The platinum plan is two books a month. I like to go with the unobtainium plan, which is 37,000 books a month. I am a voracious Audible listener. Audiblepodcast.com, podcast.com slash in seven thousand books in sfw huh. if you head over there you will actually get i'm trying to get the exact number you uh, i believe you get one free book for you there you go to download one of our picks for free basically you can pick who do you like more justin and his crazy pandora star or brian and his down to earth Facebook pick. You can pick your favorite and you go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW and you will get it absolutely free. One other thing. We are the only show I'm proud to announce on all of the Twit Network who resorts to bribery to make Indeed. sure that you actually make it valuable to our to our sponsors. What happens if somebody actually goes and signs up at audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW, Mr. Justin Robert Jones? Here's what you're going to do, and don't tell anybody, all right? You're going to go and sign up, and when you get your little registration email, and again, you can cancel this right after the first book. All you got to do is just sign up. This is free to you, folks. Uh, just send Brian or send to nsfwshow at gmail.com. Just you know, maybe a little a screen grab or forward the email that they sent to you. And what Brian's going to do is he's going to make his meat tipsy little sidekick <laughs> send a free copy of uh, which, which book, Bry? <laughs> of my little book, Cheats, Cons, Swindles, and Tricks, 57 Ways to Scam a Free Drink. It's actually the book that the entire series of Scam School was based on, and I'm sending it to you as my gift, as a thank you for supporting our sponsors at audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. Anything else before uh, we wrap yeah, this up? Yeah, also, also, real quick, uh, the Audible people do look on Twitter. So uh, if you want to just, if you, maybe you are already an Audible uh, subscriber and you and you did this the last couple of times just do me a favor go out on twitter right now and say that nsfw show uh got me to be an audible subscriber and i love them and i love you guys that's not bad but i would prefer it if like you you know intentionally spoke specifically saying nsfw show is the best podcast supported by audible and in parentheses put better than all the others I mean, that might, that might kind of you yeah. know, excite them. Yes, and you at replied Martin Sargent on it. <laughs> right, right, exactly. All right, look, are we ready for another sobriety test for Mr. OMG meat drunk? Dr yes, drink yes. Meat? All right, are you ready, Chad? Yeah.
What Go. is the capital down, of New York? Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, I did. I, did. I shut you. I shut you down earlier. <laughs> you were good. See, look at that. That's all right. You're redeemed, sir. Right up top. Right up top. Right up top. That's oh no. Oh. You're leaving me hanging. You're just gonna leave me hanging up here. My hands up in the. All right, I'll come down to your level. There you go. That's right. I'll meet you down there. I'll M E A T you down there. Okay, go ahead. Administer the test, sir. All right, uh, Chad. Yes. What Sorry. is the capital of New York State? I'm going to say... Uh, <laughs> a little bit of a delay here. Not New York City. <laughs> I'm just going to take it. I'm, I'm just going to say New York City because I'm a stupid American. I'm not drunk. Uh, you're not meat drunk. What is the capital of New York? Albany. Albany, New York? Just Dumbass. No, I didn't see it on there. <laughs> You gotta bust me out. I didn't see it on there. I knew that. You kids today. You know, you don't know nothing. All right, first of all, you know how to hold your meat. You obviously are meat drunk already, but we'll make the we'll make it work out before. Let's let's and also what I want people to do is when they watch this episode back, or maybe even now, if you're gonna keep an eye on Chad, just go ahead and screen grab where Chad looks the most meat drunk. And uh we'll put it up on NSW show. I'm gonna look drunker than he is no matter what, though. I'm all every side is gonna be like <laughs> all right, so we'll get the meat drunk all over the place. And uh, so let me do this. Let me actually find some of our – we have gotten a lot of these in. I'm going to go ahead and look at some of the motivators that have been starred here. Um, this is messed up. <laughs> Whoa. This is like uh, – and, and, and dang, this is what I love about the chat room is like damned if they don't really listen and take our advice to heart. Like when we say this is what we're looking for – that's exactly what they give us for the literally the first one I clicked on is this guy. I know that guy. <laughs> yeah, I believe you, sir. That's Chad. Uh, <laughs> it says that's why Chad stopped eating meat. <laughs> but, but the uh, <laughs> it was me two years ago. <laughs> it's a guy dressed in women's undergarments and nothing else, and it just says, "I'll die a virgin, guaranteed." Guaranteed. guaranteed. Can I say something? <laughs> yes, go no, ahead. He's, he's actually guaranteed to not die a virgin doing that because uh, you think that's what'll actually get you man, in the sack oh, with someone? Hell yeah, he's different. Yeah, yeah. yeah you think? That's <laughs> well, let me just point out to say that he's dressed up in women's underwear is also uh, there's a fetish it, it, for that. It makes it sound sexier than it actually. Yeah, was. no, it's actually like. Uh, <laughs> like a, 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 <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They just they, these guys just pulled a Justin Robert Young on you because <laughs> because I accidentally clicked on this. This is just, ridiculous. Exactly right. So it just popped up for them, and so they're a little bit freaking out with it. Let me actually capture the exact area this here. Uh, this one here it shows what looks like a Greek statue being sat upon, and it reads simply <laughs> ass face. Don't be one. I'm looking at you, Justin R. Young. <laughs> hey, Justin, what do you say to that? What Justin, do you say to that's that, you. sir? I, you know, I'll tell you what. You, you get, you get a, a stool made out of your face, and this is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we've got one more. Oh my God! I don't even know. <laughs> Now here, Brian, can you not have me on there when I'm like not the one laughing at these things? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what were you saying? <laughs> what were you saying, Justin Robert? No, I just said switch the camera because this is wait, wait, just my dumb, confused face of like, why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> but you know what happened? I, I don't even know if I can show this one. It's, it mentions me yeah. specifically. You know what? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It just it just says, Brian Brushwood, you ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> the first person to say that's me gets the ass kicked. <laughs> All right. So just describe what there it is. It is an average. You know what? I, I, I think I'd rather not. He's holding two torches and, and yeah, hanging. Well, Brian, you have to explain on some You got to show it, man. All right. Hey, before you show it, let me just say this. It's the sign that says, I am serious now. <laughs> yeah. That makes it. Yeah, there's a guy who appears to be completely naked, wearing a sign taped to his chest that's that hand printed says, I am serious now. Oh, Brad, just tell as me. He, as he, a he, laptop <laughs> hanging from his penis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> on his, on his, what on his, makes this is the decor <laughs> around him. He's standing on these two, on these two, like, I don't know, folding chair, I don't know, plastic, you know, outside chairs. And then there's this weird, like, cinder block falling down wall behind him. 
the the roof isn't even like full like on shingle. <laughs> it's just man. tin. Oh my god! Like, if you ever want to know a backstory about a picture, it is this one. <laughs> oh my god! I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, by the way, people are already calling this as a win for meat. They're already saying Chad's meat drunk. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad we finally got that. He's one. on two pieces of fatted. Plastic fucking highway. <laughs> All right, so here, here we go. We got one. We got one that. <laughs> there's one. There's one that says uh, it appears to be a commercial product <clears throat> that says stuff hug play, and this appears to be a real product, and it shows. <laughs> <laughs> it shows Superman, like a plush Superman, singing "Ho." No, it's a Superman blow up doll. Okay, <laughs> that is what it looks like. That is what it looks like, and it fulfills every Superman fantasy I've ever had. <laughs> the, the the subtitle <laughs> says "Truth, Justice, the American Way." It's never too early to teach your kids about sex. Superman can help. So, uh, Our chance. Wouldn't, wouldn't it have been a lot easier if we just all could have chipped in and got Brian Singer one of those instead of having to sit through Superman Returns? <laughs> Actually, looking at that picture is better than watching Superman Returns. <laughs> That's what I said. This one, this one kills me. There was a guy who was like full on playing his heart out in a, in a trombone, and he's like aiming it like a death laser at at roadkill. Literally, it's roadkill. Can I tell you? It's a, it's a dead squirrel. He's got his eyes popping out like Dizzy Gillespie and uh, gigantic chipmunk cheeks. All right, I hate to be the one to spoil the party here, but can, <laughs> can I tell you why that one is not that funny? Why? Because it's one of those pictures where the guy's obviously joking around. He's actually, he didn't he, just, he found this he found dead thing. He found yeah. so he's joking around. It's, you, you can explain this very easy. It's not like he has a laptop hanging from his penis and you want to know <laughs> why is there. All right, all right, but hold on. Right. And for people who are listening audio-wise, uh, the caption says, music appreciation. You're never uh, too dead. Yeah, you're <laughs> never too dead, which yeah. I think is clever. Yeah, and no matter what, even if the guy's screwing around, he takes a silly picture with his friends. That's a funny caption. Yeah, I agree. Uh, by the way, there's this one. Uh, there's there's appears to be somebody a little bit elderly, a little who's, bit, <laughs> who's, who's holding a broadsword. I'm or that may be a bastard sword. Actually, it's a two handed broadsword, and and she's looking very menacing. And what does it say, Justin? Well, never. And also, just to, uh, it says dignity. Uh, I'll never go to the old folks' home. You have to put it back there. Yeah, sorry about it. that. Never. You can't make me. <laughs> and then it's all exclamation point, exclamation point, one, one, exclamination point. And then, then they spelled out one, O-N-E in all capitals. She uh, has just, the just power. Just to describe how old this lady looks. It's uh, as if at the end of uh, The Last Crusade, when Donovan drinks from the wrong chalice, <laughs> right before he starts melting. If you just freeze-framed it there. That's how old this lady looks. <laughs> uh, okay, this one's a little bit creepy. This one just shows like a whack job, creepy, full on uh, clown man who's half ass dressed as a clown. And it just <laughs> says, Kuhan, praise Kuhan, or else. <laughs> Which I don't know. It's like that's a little bit too inside baseball for me. Somebody see. You're the one who asked for those, Brian. You're like, the ones I like the best. Are the inside are the ones jokes. that make reference to people on the NSFW? Somebody it's like, a little while ago did. said, uh, "Thanks for ruining that picture." The one that got the trumpet. Thanks for ruining that, Corey. I'm like you go to hell. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's like, come God. on, dude. This is a dude teasing a dead squirrel. Yeah, really? Is that what we need? Um, I'm looking for some of these are starred that are not quite. Can my we see that flavor. sex education pic? This, you want to see the sex? Yeah, right, let me see the sex just, education one. I just looked um, this off. This, this one right here. Okay, yeah. let's let's show you. Uh, <laughs> th <laughs> you know what? It looks hot when it was small. Now it's just sad and funny. Yeah, you and asking. I like, I like how the little black kid is just grinning his ass off over there. It's, <laughs> this appears to be a photograph, like in the middle. Maybe, maybe they had like the Miami Heat cheerleaders or something over for a school in service, and they're in the middle of doing their family-friendly cheerleading routine. Uh, and there's some moment when everybody has their posteriors pointed towards the children, and it's shocking. How thrilled the children no, are they, with this part of the of the look program. Look at every little boy in this picture. They are just happy. They, they, <laughs> they thought also, they, yeah, you can see the kid in the green the shirt with the blue so hat. Plethora. He's really just having a ball. I'm like, oh my god. The the, the, the kids are clearly it's like very 
very you, happy. You could have told them that the best athlete in the world was going to be there, but this trumped it right here. <laughs> They was like, this is, I can die right now. I don't have That's to right. be fair. Like, like, you know, I'll tell you, screw the green shirt. The possible Asian in the red shirt's my favorite. I, okay. I, I really hope that's photoshopped. <laughs> no, you know what? I do I, too. I also love how rickety that stage is. It looks like it was just put up in like five minutes. What was that, or Randy it's like Wade? in the front of a country store. Uh, by the way, we have one We have one that is a screenshot <laughs> of Leo Laporte while he's crowd surfing. <laughs> while he's crowd surfing at the big dig. See, I told day. you there was something wrong about oh, come him. come on, dude. It's Leo Laporte. Everyone's touching his meat, to which he says, Leo, are you online? He said, eat my meat. Yes, yeah, so we have it straight from the horse's mouth right there. It looks like he's in the middle of a zombie plague or attack. <laughs> it does, actually. And he's got a chainsaw like, right now. He just <laughs> cut through the crowd. Ah, I'm going to survive this apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I like your impression of zombie apocalypse, Leo Lavoie. Ah! I like it also. He clearly states his hero's journey, so nobody can be confused. <laughs> what does Leo do anyway? Does Leo is what does he do? Uh, he well, runs the goddamn internet. Yeah, That's he, what he does. He, he keeps this whole he, sham afloat. He, he is he is the president of the internet. Literally, he he broadcasts oh. like 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 forty hours of content. He runs a network out of his own cottage. By the way, first of all, you cottage. guys, entirely too much meat left on this plate. I'm looking at you, Chad. I need, I need Ocho Cinco to at least put down one rib. Chad, tell put down rib one on. rib. One Chad, rib. Chad, tell, but, tell him stuff it in your hole. No. Go ahead, man. No. Tell him. No. Here, man. He, ain't gonna hurt he wants a job. He's not he, gonna what? By, by the way, Kuhan in the chat room saying uh, it's Leo for dead. <laughs> I like this kid. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> All right, so let me show you this one. Uh, Justin, you want to explain this one right here? <coughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So for those of you who didn't uh, watch our South by Southwest episode, we have our new acronym, uh, D-I-A-F, which of course stands for Die in a Fire. Hey, Justin. And, uh, buddy. Die in a fire. Hey, you die in a fire. Oh, you die in uh, a fire. Come oh, on. I die in a fire. All right. Hey, die in a fire. All right. Die hey, by the way, wife and fire. kids, die in a fire. Die, uh, everyone in South Southwest, die in a fire. Leo got that money? He does? Yes. Leo, Leo, buy me a sandwich. All right, so anyway, so somebody right, put so together. The deal. There's a, a cute little girl who uh, is uh, looking at the camera with a wry smile while in the background a house is set ablaze with a towering inferno. And this is not a Photoshop. Entire structure. You should point out that this is not a Photoshop. Like literally, this is a real house burning How to the ground. Know? And this is a real girl who's looking over her shoulder with a wry smile. And the subtitle reads what? How do you know this? D-I-A-F. And Zuzulti. the subtitle Zuzulti. comes when you don't. Who's open? You die on fire. <laughs> comes when you don't. GTFO. I, I don't know about that Photoshop, uh, unless if there's a double blind study or I don't, you know. Boo uh. this man! <laughs> <laughs> don't ever, don't ever try to be funny when you suspect Justin Robert Young is about to play a sound effect. Because he was, <laughs> I guarantee you, he was about to play GTFO because GTFO was in the subtitle, but then he heard your joke and his hand moved over like Sark on the game grid. He was about to, he was about to send <laughs> into his doom and then moved over to the other wow. one. Chad, what did you do to these people? These people hate you, man. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. I don't know what I did. All I did was lay there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm I, just, I, I just eat friends. a bunch of meat. And I don't understand <laughs> what's going on. I don't on. know. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think He's we have like, like Otis the town meat drunk. <laughs> the town meat drunk. You're gonna be town the town drunker. <laughs> Are you in this one? You like me in closet. <laughs> I like this one here. This one's got a guy who, who appears to be. Wearing a bar stool over his head while he's got a bloody rag wrapped underneath it, stuffed underneath there. What, what, I we, thought that was a bagpipe. No, first. I thought wow. I did. I thought it was a bagpipe as well, but then I realized the bagpipes don't have four. Oh, that's four not a bagpipe. That's what I thought it was too. No, 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 that's a bar stool he's wearing on his his bloodied face, and as a circle is clearly formed around him, like out of mockery. And then the best was they. They say the subtitle is Scam School. <laughs> How does this give me a drink again? <laughs> Which is like, what I love is the implication that somehow that's what we teach <laughs> Scam School. is like, all right, get hammered, then bloody your face, and then <laughs> put on a bar stool, and you'll get free drinks. It'll be amazing. It'll be easy. Come on. That looks like this is ridiculous. <laughs> that 
That look like Chad's fat ass up eating his meat tonight. His fat, his <laughs> fat backside. His fat backside. I'm sorry. That he's doing. Tushy. Come on. His fat behind. Uh, all right, that's no good. That's I, I made the mistake of looking at one Come that on, wasn't. Man. That's just nasty. That was nasty. Why did you do I that? should I should have done that. That's <laughs> Don't what? do that. Don't do this. Okay, no, you I'm know not, all I'm, kind of I'm, racist I'm, things. I'm go, not gonna do that one either. Do, don't even open that. Do don't it. even. Don't I'm even. I'm only gonna look at the star ones. We had to bring this one to a close, right? All right, yeah. Uh, I tell you, let's do. Let's do. Uh, let's do one more sobriety test because we want to know for sure that we got OMG Chad completely meat drunk. You right. got one more question for him? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, the big the big thing is is uh, if you've ever been uh, pulled over for drunk driving, which I definitely haven't. Uh, it, it, Brian, can you move one of the cameras so we can see him try and walk the line? Yes. Like the yes. Uh, here, walk Oops. behind us. All right. Yeah. All right. So here's what you want to do. You want to you want to tilt your head back. You're gonna walk. Uh, you got to touch one foot to one one foot. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Heel to toe. Heel to back, uh, back. 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 Back in the corner. Get in the back. corner. Get, get in the corner. Get in the corner. Your head is in the way. Here, let well, me be the cop. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got, yes. we got. Can you be the really angry black cop? All right, hold the mic. Hold the mic, because we got to hear you. Right. Actually, here, Ooh. Here. <laughs> take that. Take that. There you go. Here you go. You just. Here we go. We got this worked out. We got it here. Here we go. I got. It. Move your ass to the back. <laughs> uh, step forward in a line. Quickly, sir. Lean his head back. Lean his head back. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chad, Chad, no, don't don't play this up. We want, we want yeah, to don't don't be a run. faker. If there's one thing we hate, it's fakers. I've never done this with the Tilt your head back, you meat sauce hound, and then lean back and then keep on going. <laughs> Just look at him. He's the, the, the turntables might wobble, but they don't fall down. No, they get all the way back. Get your back heel touching that See, back Chad wall. Chad is doing this because this is what you expect of him. No, I know. Well, I tell you, first of all, you you really try it. Don't you play it up. Don't you act because NSFW knows better. All right. All right? Exactly. Now, officer, officer friendly, go. Walk in a straight line, sir. Don't fake it. There you go. I know you ball as like you're going to jail. He kind of looks like he's doing the Randall from Clerks. <laughs> just suddenly shaking his shoulders. All right, no, he is. You know what? I think he's been faking. He's not meat drunk. There's no such thing. I'm starting to think that this whole idea that there's such a thing as meat drunk wasn't true. I'm starting to think you and I were in error. Our thesis was flawed, sir. And well, that's true, why they call it an experiment. Brian. That's right. Well, as true scientists, we're going to take it back to the drawing board. But before we do, we're going to take plugs from everybody. Phony! You're a phony! Real I'm quick, sorry. man, let's try uh, Spill.com, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Spill.com is coming out this uh, this summer. June a giant... 25th through the 27th. Yes. three-day event. We're going to have directors, musical acts, food, drinks, fun, all ages. Come on for the weekend. we got people coming from all around the world. That's June 25th through 27th. And most important, we got the Spill.com Film Festival. Real quick, enter your films, five minutes or less. They have to be about the Spill crew. You can do animation, live action. Send your entries to Spill.com Film Festival, P.O. Box 42196, Austin, Texas, 78704. Cutoff date is June 15th. Hope to see you there. Wait. I'm a pro. Are you actually taking like physical submissions? You're not having people upload them? No, because uh, I, no, I'm not. What? Because it's 1982? Is that what? Is that the I reason? Have, I have a reason. Is that yeah. <laughs> New York, New York, one double oh two six. Send a substance just strapped envelope. To, <laughs> really? Uh, I mean, that's uh, not me trying. I have right? a reason. All right, all right. I have a reason. Okay, I believe you. I, all right, I believe you. All right, what do you got to plug here? Uh, let's go, OMG Chad, uh, Mr. Drunk Meat. Uh, go. Okay. Uh, what do I have to plug? Uh, OMGChad.com. You can check me out. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Come on, oh. dude. Come on. Twitter. Dude. That's slash... not appropriate to randomly play clips while he's trying to talk. That's you not. You said eat my go. meat. That's not. That's not okay. Oh, Chad, do. go. No, go ahead. Twitter you slash. You said eat my meat. Twitter slash you OMG. Said, eat my meat. Underscore Chad is uh, where you can find me, and then also YouTube slash Crazy Dude 07. <laughs> anyway, I give up. Oh, OMG. Sure, eat my meat and then leave. Oh, oh. Right, go, 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 OMGChad.com. Boo this man! <laughs> Did you actually shush everyone just so you could play boo this man? All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, shh, shh. Uh, real, real quick, Justin and I, now, now, now. Do I really look that angry? I'm not. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, Justin, what do we got to plug coming up at the end of the next month, sir? Okay. Uh, well, number one, you can hear about everything that I'm going to talk about uh, on my Twitter, Justin R. Young. But the big deal, okay, just announced 
on itricks.com, the number one magic news source on the planet, the Magic Castle, the last week of April. It is a unprecedented event where Rudy Kobe, the legendary magician, if you haven't seen any of his stuff, look it up on YouTube, he's insane, has booked his friends at the castle. Among them are uh, our Weird Things co-host, Andrew Maine, who is putting together an insane show, and the man on this very podcast, Ryan Brushwood. <laughs> yes. Uh, by the way, chat room actually sent to me the reading rainbow sound effect, and I didn't mean for it to autoplay, but I was having, I was trying to have it all queued up. I was like, but just don't take my word for it. Read it for yourself. But you don't have to take my word for it. Oh man, it's not the Chrome browser doesn't play. Let me tell you, dude, this this business with the Magic Castle is freaking huge. Literally, Andrew Maine is going to try stuff that has never been attempted at the Magic Castle oh before. My God. Rudy Kobe is a legend. If you're anywhere near LA, you gotta come out for this. I'm sharing my little stage with the producer of David Copperfield himself, Mr. Chris Kenner. This is like what? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that was, yes. Well, listen, I mean, like, exactly there are a lot of names on here that if you're into magic, uh, you can look, get all of them on itricks.com. We have the list of everybody that's going to be there. Uh, if you want to get tickets, uh, it would be safe to say just email NSFW show. Yes, we'll, we'll yes. Let us know out. if you're going to be in the area. And it's from uh, August, uh, I'm sorry, April 26th through May 2nd. Anytime that week, go ahead and hit us up. We'll try to get you personal invites. That's the only way to get in. We're going to try to shoot NSFW. We're going to do weird things, uh, the Weird Things podcast from the haunted uh, Magic Castle itself. Yes, and, I'm, uh, I'm hoping, uh, what's it called, Houdini, the seance room. Oh, dude. Yeah, by the way, if you saw if you saw the footage of, of me taking a tour with the Totally Rad Show Boys, you'll see that it's like, it's no lie. It's electric being in the room with Harry Houdini's milk can prop with his actual straight jacket, all those things. And we're going to we're going to defile all of them live when we're actually out there at this place. You, you said something else to say. You got something you want to say? No, I just I've got my tickets now. All right, good. Well, I'm glad we're all on the same page. Listen. As always, live show. We'll keep on going in the after show. Don't forget, every Tuesday night, you can see us at 10 o'clock Eastern. Well, this is one this for the record books. NFW. See you next Tuesday, people. It is FW. Everybody, it is FW. Chad is drunk off of meat. Sweet meat. Chad sitting up keep there, going, dude. chewing on a rib. Getting that sauce all oh, over, it's just ain't got no bib. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this week on NSFW, a bunch of get around. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on, dude. I will do it. I will do it this way. I'll just talk to you. I'll just from this one. Come on, dude. Come on. I give you the reins once. I give you the reins. I'm like, you're in charge.